Welcome to Business Reporter's AI and Automation Campaign. I'm Rachel Hicks. Some Asian countries seem to have a much closer relationship with robots than Europeans do. South Korea boasts the world's highest robot density. And in China, a robotic revolution is already well underway. While in Japan, you can eat at a cafe while the waiting staff there are androids. Robotics has made great strides in the last decade. No longer are robots simple machines that blindly follow a set path, but sophisticated semi-autonomous devices that can adapt their movements to the data received from their sensors. They're also more accurate, with robotic arms able to achieve an accuracy of 0.02 millimeters and are far easier and more intuitive to use. Today, we've invited Lit Fung, Managing Director of Geek Plus, a rapidly growing robotic startup, to the studio to discuss how robots combined with AI can improve your business and also to look at what the future holds for the company. Hello, Lit. Thank you for coming in. Hello, thank you. Now, tell me, you started in 2014. What kind of successes have you seen since then? We received the largest investment among within the log- uh, robotic industry. And it allows us and support us to make a company growth from eight to 800 employees right now. And then we complete 200 projects in 35 countries. And then we sold the largest number of robots worldwide. So can you explain how robots can help improve the logistics and supply chain industry? I think robotics can help the people in logistic area to increase the efficiency reduce the labor and also without any additional labor. Okay, let's have a look now at the European market. What kind of problems do your customers in Europe face? Uh, I think the most important is a three point. The first one is a scarcity of the labor and also labor costs and also how to handling the peak season, how to do a flexibility system and also as well as the um, the, uh, ROI and payback. So how would Geek Plus help solve those problems in that case? Paint a picture for me if you can. In our system, we can help the logistic area to get around 60% of the labor cost saving. And with a very quick ROI in in UK, this country, maybe just only around one or two years to get a return. So in that case, let's look at how Geek would solve those problems. So how would you, for example, solve the scarcity of labor? Normally, the, the customer is only adding the robot inside the system, and it can be created a more highest throughput of the system, so that the, the customer no need to hire the people during the, the peak season. Yeah. Okay, and if we were to look at the final point you made, the problems that face your European customers, ROI and payback, how would Geek Plus help solve that situation, those issues? I think for using, for using the robot system, um, most of your customer can get around 60% labor cost saving, and that means um, they can get around two to three years to get a return. And compared with the traditional automation system, they are only talking about five to seven years. It's very good f- for the payback, but using the robot is talking two to three, and sometimes our customer can get one year to get a return. Okay, so how would Geek Plus solve the problem of handling peaks? I think one of the uh, new scheme that we are just over right now is a robot as a service the RAS model, uh, we offer uh, all the robot the system to the customer without any payment in advance. So we only charge the customer by transaction or by order or by pick. Okay, and this allow the customer no need to pay it in capex, and but they put it in the opex. And in in this RAS model, we will provide the the robot at the peak season and then they can cater their peak season and they don't need to uh, consider the maintenance, the robot number, and then we provide all the service for them. So what's the typical time period for implementation? Uh, in average, we take around three to four months for the project lead time from contract award to go live. And this is, I think this is quite different compared with the traditional automation. They are only talking about like a, a year or one and a half years to take the whole project period. And uh, I just make an example that we have a case to one of our customers relocate a 5,000 meter square warehouse to another new warehouse. And we just use 24 hours to t- take the relocation. So can you share Geek Plus's vision of the future with us? 
Uh, of course, we will keep it on, uh, expand uh, our global presence in the world. And together, uh, as I said, for the robot as a service, the RAS model, we wanted to form like an ecosystem in the world so that everyone can enjoy the RAS model and share the robot together and uh, reduce the investment level and everyone in the world can enjoy the ROI within three years. Thank you so much for coming in and talking to us today. Yeah, thank you.